Hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel and for those who are just tuning in, welcome. I'm Alia Choice and today is day number nine. You heard that right. Day number nine of our 12 days of Christmas. We're almost done guys. This has been absolutely phenomenal. I am so ecstatic of the looks that I've been able to accomplish for you guys today. This look I call it Oh Holy Night because when I think about the perfect night, um, I think, I don't know, not necessarily Northern Light-ish, but I think, I think these colors, I think um, black, deep blue, green, yellow, all blended together and a nice little moon harmony. So I decided to put that on my face and I right now i'm loving the result so if you guys like this and want to see how i achieved this look stay tuned so today is going to be a really interesting look um what I will say is that in my head, I see it, but I don't know how it's gonna actually look when it's done. I don't know. So without further ado, the skin has already been prepped and primed and I haven't done the brows yet because we're actually gonna do some brow blocking for this look. I'm gonna take my purple Elmer's glue and I'm gonna apply that on my brows. I'm applying it with the grain of my brow. Then I'm gonna go against the grain of my brow. Swirl that a little bit. Cause I have some thick brow hair. As we saw with the Grinch, I didn't really do a good job of doing anything with those. And I'm gonna take my spoolie and I'm gonna brush the hair all the way up. And I'm gonna go in with my other brush that's attached to my um, pencil. And I'm just pressing it up to ensure that it's as slick as possible. Now that this side is dry, we're gonna do a second coat. Besides dry, I'm gonna go in with one more coat. Some people do four coats, some people do more. I'm just gonna do the three. Next, I'm gonna take my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder in medium deep, and I'm going to press that on top. And I pretty much knew that this one was going to be concealed better than this one because this one was like flaking up and doing weird shit. I'm just going to take my brush and dust away the excess from the bottom and the top. And then I'm going to take my beauty blender and I'm going to go into my translucent, my airspun translucent powder. And this side set the way that we want it to. This is how you want it to look. This side, mm, got some rough spots right here. It's like two rough spots, but 
it's okay. And it's just gonna bake and then for about five minutes and then I'm going to dust away the excess powder. So I'm gonna wait the five minutes, dust off the excess powder, and then I'll be back. Okay, I'm gonna dust off this excess. And now I'm going to use my Juvia's Place I Am Magic foundation in Punta Cana. And I'm gonna apply that all over my face using my Real Techniques 200 Expert Face Brush. And I put it on the back of my hand, so I'm just gonna tap into that and apply it all over my face. This is different than how you've seen me apply it so far on this channel. I haven't applied it like this. Just using my finger to apply that to make sure that it coats every hair. I don't actually know how far back I should take this, but I know especially with this, I know especially with this yellow behind me, this is pulling off very um, dark. And taking my Fenty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealer in 340, I'm gonna apply that to my highlight areas except for my forehead. We're going to want to set that with our special mixture. For this look, I may need to, um, because I'm not sure yet. Like I said, I'm kind of winging this. I have an idea of how I want it to look in my head, but the real life application of that, I really have no idea what that's going to look like. So. Um, I think I'm gonna bake, but only because I need to catch fallout eyeshadow. And then I'm gonna add some more under the eye for baking. I'm just gonna, whatever's left on that beauty sponge, I'm just pressing it right back into those brows. Dusting away the excess. And now we can go into stage two. So this is a night inspired look. It's all about evening. Um, so we're gonna do nighttime colors covering the first half or the first third of our face. And the very first color I'm gonna go into is the Sephora Pro Palette. And I'm gonna take this black shade here and I'm gonna apply it all over the top of my head and I'm using my and I'm using my Real Techniques 402 setting brush to do so
Next, I'm going to take the Magic Mini by Juvia's. And I'm gonna go into this deep blue Yajid. And I'm gonna use this petite stippling brush to place that. And from that black, we're blending downwards for the blue. And I think you can see where we're going with this. Um, how we're gonna make it look like a nighttime sky. And then I'm gonna go into my um, Amazon palette and I'm gonna grab another blue, but I'm gonna use the same brush. And this blue is just gonna be on the lighter side. And this is a interesting Christmas look, right? Because it's not really Christmas-y, but it is. Like it's not the typical Christmas we think of, but it is still very much Christmas-y. Like, can y'all see that? It's, it's actually looking really special already. This brow not being completely concealed is a little irritating for my look, but we gonna let it ride. All right, now that we have that on sufficiently, we're gonna go back into that blue. And we're just gonna blend the colors. And as you can see, you can really start seeing that um, nighttime cast coming on. I hate that I didn't, uh, that this one messed up right here. Otherwise, it'll be like a really nice clean silk canvas. I probably should have just redid it, but. Cause that that is, that is gorgeous. And I'm gonna take my Jessup Luxe face paint brush and I'm going to take a green shadow, regular green for now, out of my Amazon palette. Now I'm going to take an even lighter green, a line with that same green brush. And then going back into our Sephora Pro palette, I'm gonna take this mustard yellow shade right here. And I'm gonna take a different brush this time. This time I'm gonna take my 402, my other 402 um, Real Techniques setting brush. I'm gonna take my other brush and dust away that additional powder. There we go. And I actually don't wanna blend that out too much because I'm really liking that color payout. Yeah, this is perfect. This is 
exactly what I wanted. Exactly what I was going for. Okay, so I want you guys to see my vision, right? This is like what I was going for. Do y'all see the, the black to the dark blue to the lighter blue, the green to the yellow? That's exactly what I was going for. I'm gonna go and I'm going to draw the moon over here. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to take the Beats by Deb eyeliner brush and eyeliner in Snowflake and I'm going to start creating the moon on my face. Um, I want it to kind of be like cradling the eye socket so that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, <laughs> now that that part is down, I feel a little, a little bit better. Then I'm gonna take my concealer brush and I'm gonna pack on a mixture of white and a type of yellow. Oh, like this really light pale yellow and white. And I'm gonna color in the moon. And I like using the liner paint because it gives the shape texture and the moon has texture. And so that kind of like just naturally does it. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this wing liner pencil and I'm gonna go into that Sephora Pro palette and I'm gonna take some black and I'm gonna outline the moon. Now I'm going to go into the Juvia's Place blue that we used. And that's what I'm going to blend the black into. I'm gonna go in with that eyeliner and I'm just gonna create some stars. Wow, <laughs> this is lit. I'm gonna go into my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish and I'm gonna take my Real Techniques 401 Sculpting Brush and I'm gonna give me some chisel.
So now I'm going to take the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and mute out my lips. And I'm going to take this Brow Liner Pencil and I'm going to emulate the ombre effect, but this time it's going to go up. Now that I have my lashes on, I'm just going through in the order of these colors from the bottom up on the lip um, to do a gradient lip. And I'm using my 322 Brow Liner Pencil. I don't know if I mentioned it, but I used my NYX um, Jumbo Pencil in Milk to white out my lips. And this is the finished look, you guys. What do you think? Um, this one, I think, is by far my favorite look of this series so far. It's it's art. Um, makeup is art, but this this is like I painted a beautiful canvas, I feel. It looks amazing, and I'm so excited how it turned out. So if you guys like this, we have, what, three looks left? That's it, guys. This has been so great. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this look, if you like me, if you like my channel, go ahead and hit the thumbs up, smash that subscribe, and click that notification bell so that every time I post, you are the first to know. See you next time.